There have been public outcry on how the Ghana Police Service has handled forensic investigations about the three Takrada kidnapped girls. This morning on Daily Runs, we're asking the public what are the expectations as the Ghana Police Service readies to announce the results of the DNA test this week? Gentlemen, welcome to Daily Runs. Thank you. Uh, the question is, do you think the police has done a good job looking at how they've handled forensic investigations about the three kidnapped girls? No, personally I would say no because if you look at the whole issue from day one, you'd see that there's lapses in their forensic investigation. Like the case happened last year, somewhere July, August, and the police didn't go to the residence of the alleged kidnapper until a year later. So every evidence you are going to get from that place wouldn't be enough. It will be like tampered evidence. You see, you wouldn't get sufficient evidence because the alleged kidnapper would have had a whole year to clean out his, I mean, to, to clean out and cover up his supposed mess. Okay, and then when you look at after even they went there, you see they did shoddy work because they didn't go there with gloves. You see, they, they, they were just picking evidence with their bare hands. It will impact the evidence. So any result that they are going to get from this, I personally, I would doubt it. Because even in movies, you don't get this. At least show seriousness. This is somebody's life we are talking about. Show, show the families that you care. They are Ghanaians. Come on. Do something professional. Let, them, let, let, let Ghanaians trust that, okay, we can trust the police to do forensic work. Let me first of all declare how supportive we are with, to the family at this trying moment. It's very, very not easy and we, we support them. We will do whatever that it takes to support them emotionally, physically and everything. But to be clearly, from the start, the police without missing ways has mishandled this whole process. Everything has been mishandled. We are limiting our thoughts even to the forensic sake for the for forensic purposes. But even looking at it, how the case has been even mishandled for the first place, even at the startup, even today's ending period of this case, it's not something we're supposed to be happy about in this country that we are. From the hierarchy, from the police hierarchy to the least person in the police service, it's not something that we are supposed to declare our appreciative to towards, towards them. It's in regards to how forensic process is being done, we know. Everybody know, common floor members within citizens within this country knows. Even to have even an access to mortal remains, even of special whatever, whatever remains in a in a in a people's custody, you must be prepared not to be touching certain others. We all watch it, how the police went about it. Even the whole police officer couldn't wasn't even in the gloves to even attest. So how well could we even ascertain that okay, you are not even involved? within this process because sometimes we that we are in the IT we know that definitely when you touch people like that your fingerprint is being let on such remains and when you send it for forensics it could even declare that okay these are the number of people that has come into contact with this motor this doesn't happen and even before then before then at the even first instance when these people were declared that yes they've declared missing that the family approach the police, the, the police headquarters, the first thing that they, want, they, they should have done was when they find out that, okay, these people were involved, these people are the highly suspected individuals involved in this criminal case, the first thing that they should have done is to, apart from making sure they have been detained in the police custody, they should also have made sure during within that process there is supposed to be a thorough search within the within the compound of the of the of where these victims or these suspects stays which which didn't happen it was at the latter part that okay let's say by now let's go let's move on to go and say that this doesn't make sense so whatever thing that is happening i don't know what report is going to come within this week i don't know but truthfully if indeed it is not what we are not expecting that that do but truthfully if indeed that this has to do with the, the three abducted girls, some of them, either some of them or all of them, that is what the DNA seeks to achieve by the end of the day. If it is being realized that, okay, it is indeed their dead bodies, then truthfully, we are supposed to bow our head in shame, even as citizens of this country, that our police didn't help us, truthfully. Whether or not these are the remains of the, uh, the, the, the kidnapped three girls, these are still humans. 
they are still human. So this is not something we can write home about. It's a, it's a shame that a country like Ghana, where the pedestal people put us on, where we are, supposedly, because when you go out of this country, people talk highly of Ghana. Recently, I've got someone who came from Britain, and then he'll tell you when you go outside there, and then people are mentioning African countries, and they give high regards to Ghana. So if we are getting this kind of respect from the international community, and then we do this kind of things, I mean, it doesn't speak well for us. It doesn't speak well. Don't you think that the police, as you both have said, um, are, are unable to handle forensics very well because their training lacks that kind of um, orientation? You see, I believe that I don't know what tools that they have, but I have every instinct to believe that we have all the tools needed to execute such audits within this country. But the thing is, it has become too partisan that people who will be willing to be to do do are not in a position or say that they will be able to say or command such processes. Those people who are in charge has to make sure they have to because of partisan lines they have to be very careful in what they do, the actions they take, and what they, they and what they say, the things they say or the things they do. This is some of the things that it is killing us within at this within this country. Look at what even happened at the first instance where the whole CID boss has to come out to tell us to even give us hope sure. that the assurance where these people are mm -hmm. you see it was it raised so much expectations that oh okay the family will be at ease mm -hmm. those that we also support these people we all be at ease because this is not for this, that three people there this is for the whole nation it could happen to every single individual in this country not them it could be S. So look at me, my junior sister will be abducted, and look at how sham the process would have been. And the whole CID boss would come out. This, is a, this was a, an issue of national interest. Mm -hmm. And you got that, that zeal. Of course, it continues course. to be an issue of national, national interest. interest. Seriously. And you got that zeal to come out to tell us that these people, you know where you, they are, and you come back to tell us, no, it was just an assurance to give us hope. And you are so you see, there is so much party partisan way i don't know like if you are you are getting if you say right. there's so much partisan, partisan because how because the police is supposed to be exactly an investigative be, uh, exactly something. The point. They, were, they are supposed to be an independent organization but because many of uh look at the hierarchy like how such appointment their appointments are being made everybody wants to make sure they please the master so whatever thing that they are doing they don't want to put the name of their political party who are in government right now in disrepute. And so they would do everything to protect it. And so they wouldn't sit there to come out and say, we have not been able to do anything as at this time. How would the people of this country take them? Because they would be, they would, we would take them to be people who doesn't care for our skills, people who are unable to do anything. So we have to come out to come and tell the people that we are doing something. Meanwhile, you were not doing anything. So that is the point I'm trying to establish here. We are very supportive, but let the government or let the police be very, 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 very clear in whatever they do. They should, they should take their minds off any political interest. They shouldn't be like we are pleasing the master. We know they can do it. The police, our police are very good. We know they can do it. So they should stop whatever thing that they are doing, whatever partisan interest that they have in this issue. Come out boldly, do whatever they have to do. If they are unable to do, they should come out and be truthful to the people of this country. I, I don't believe the police are not equipped enough to, to, to handle this situation. Come on, come on, gloves. Gloves, a box of gloves cost like 15 Ghana cities. Body bag would Would you say that because they were in a rush and, and that to, to, to oh, impress no, 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 Ghana, no, no. so they see, rushed there I wouldn't to see do it. There's a rush. This, this issue has been happening for the whole, since last year, July. There's no rush here. You didn't do anything from July to this, to July last year to this year. So I don't think they don't have the equipment. Tell me, tell me about the Canadian girls. What happened uh, when they were kidnapped? You don't want us to go there, do you? I, I, I want us to go there. Let's push the line. Okay. Let's see what happens. And uh, isn't, is, isn't, it, uh, isn't it the same Ghana police that went in and rescued the girls? Unless they want to tell us that Canadian intelligence uh, officers came in oh, and no, then... the, the, the Minister of Information said there was no external support. No external support. Yes. If this happened and then within two weeks, right, you were able to get these Canadian girls. Why can't you get our girls? Bring back our girls. They are killing us.
just heard from our ranters, all they are saying is that they are not expecting the police to come out and say that the mortar remains that were retrieved from the manhole are the mortar remains of the three Takrade kidnapped girls. This has been Daily Rants with me, Zubaida Ismail. Thanks for doing the watching and New Day continues.